in the menu. The the. I get it, movie. I get what you're trying to tell me. I know. I know what you're trying to tell me. Okay, the main message that I got from the film was that I am stupid. Sheer fucking hubris. Before I get to my point, let me just give a brief rundown of what the movie is about. Tyler and Margot, played by Nicholas Holt and Anya Taylor-Joy, are guests to an exclusive fine dining experience by Chef Julian, played by Voldemort. The experience takes a morbid turn when slowly the dishes and the dinner in general transform into a display of violence and torture. I just want to say that this movie really took me for a loop. I think I share this opinion with everybody, but I thought for sure from all the marketing material that we were going to get a get out type movie. And it certainly was that for the first half of the movie. But slowly as the movie went on, it kept getting funnier and funnier to the point where it got me laughing quite a bit. Not in the weird joker way, <laughs> but in a wow, did they really just do that kind of way? I especially love the scene where Tyler gets pressured into cooking a dish and it's just labeled as Tyler's bullshit. Overall, I really enjoyed the movie and it really did subvert my expectations. In a good way. Bitch. Now let me tell you the exact moment in the movie where I had this eureka moment. So near the end of the movie, Margot finds a sort of altar in chef's room where there are mementos from his past life before he was a super duper famous chef guy. There she sees a photo of a young chef Julian smiling while working a burger joint. She goes back and instantly starts mocking chef and the dishes he served thus far. In a seething rage, he calmly asks her what she would like to eat. She answers, a cheeseburger. Immediately in my head, I go, there's no way. There's there, there's no way. I know exactly how this is going to go down from here. Her request is going to bring back his memories of when he enjoyed being a chef and in the end, he'll let her go because she's not like the others. But I kept thinking to myself, there's no way that's how it's gonna end because that's just so cheesy and sappy. I mean, there must be some deeper meaning or maybe they're gonna like Uno reverse another plot twist or something. And then it hit me. Oh my god, I'm one of them. I'm one of the very people Margot was complaining about earlier when she said, every dish you've served tonight has been an intellectual exercise rather than something you want to sit and enjoy. I was trying so hard to solve the movie thinking this was the next get out and that it must have some unexpected plot twist in the end. But there wasn't and the message hit home for me. Don't take it so seriously, just enjoy it stupid. I think too many times nowadays we expect movies to just keep topping one another. It has to be the next cinematic universe tie-in. It has to be the next CGI extravaganza. That's probably why I enjoyed Top Gun Maverick so much and why it's probably my favorite film of 2022. It didn't try to reinvent the wheel or be this humongous MCU thing. It was just trying to be a good old-fashioned film. As for this film, it reminded me that a movie doesn't have to be the next big intellectual masterpiece for me to enjoy it. It can simply be indulgent. Like junk food. You know, get it? You know, like junk food. Food she ordered a cheeseburger, you know, get it? Like it's it's like a play on the words, you know, like <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is You stupid. Thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe and like if you like the video and I will see you all in the next one. Peace everybody. Inside me. Mm -hmm.